think it lends credibility to using somatostatin analogs as, a, as an anti-proliferative agent. Um, octreotide, for example, does not have the FDA label, though we've, most of us have been using that as an anti-proliferative for small bowel neuroendocrine tumors. I'll remind everybody that the ProMid study was just a study of small bowel nets, and that's what demonstrated a progression-free survival benefit of octreotide over placebo in the small, small bowel nets. That was done in the mid-2000s, um, was a small study. And now the Clarinet study, which studied lanreotide, was a much larger study, included a broader patient population. So it included um, small bowel, pancreas, nets. And so um, I think though many thought that it would probably be a positive study. I am more of a purist when it comes to data, so I wasn't using octreotide in the setting of pancreatic nets for tumor control, but um, with the introduction of the, with the positive results from the clarinet study, I am now expanding the patient population for whom I um, use somatostatin analogs.